Let's go. The Ace and TJ family presents Unfiltered, Uncensored, and Uninterrupted. Well, almost. Right here. Let's go. This is Share Funny from the Ace and TJ Show Plus. Yeah, if this um, this call with Adam, this call meeting is, if he he says it's only going to be five minutes or so. I can I can make that before Mr. Todd gets here and we have to start resetting camera angles for the TJ and Jody podcast. And he usually sticks to that, right? Who Adam? If he says it's going to be five minutes, it's five minutes. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. you know, he does. come what may. Yeah, he's a stickler for sticking to that. Is he in New York or Chicago He's right in now? Chicago, but I thought he was getting on a plane this morning. I don't know. I'm going to text him real quick and see. You. Now, what you doing, Rob? It's not, your calendar is not refreshed, and I can't figure out how to refresh it. Okay. Well, it's not so fresh. Mm-hmm. Well, don't F it up. No, because the, those aren't on Mondays anymore, so I don't know why it's still showing that. Wait, what if I, did you close it? And, 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 okay, now let's see. Oops. Oops, that's not it. There we go. While oh, TJ's doing that. No, it didn't do that. No, it didn't work. That's fine. Whatever. <sighs> always something with me, isn't it? There's always something that doesn't work like it's supposed to. I just text him. Duh, 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 duh. He's catching a plane today. Mm-hmm. Here, I believe. I don't know. Are we coming here? Yeah, his connecting flight comes through here, so I think he's. Oh, got, I think he's got a meeting this afternoon before he flies home or something. But not with us. No, 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 no not with us. I spoke to him yesterday. Um, yeah, I spoke to, to him. Um, maybe it was Friday. Yeah. When I said, "Leave me alone," it's Friday. <laughs> that counts, right? <laughs> Doesn't that count as yeah. something? He Good. sent me a message um, Thursday. Or maybe it was Friday morning I woke up to it after we finished the ride. You know, I had like four miles to ride, and it was like, uh, this has all been so great. Uh, ready for the next step. Take a little while to decompress, and then call me on your ride home so we can go over the next step. Oh, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> I was like, oh, so I get to decompress for an hour, and then I call you? <sighs> yeah, and, um, you know, M- Mr. Todd's Jeep that y'all were in. Yeah. It's really nice. It's cool looking and all, yeah. but that's not a comfortable ride, is it? For, it wasn't. It was not. It really wasn't bad at all. Yeah. I, I could have used a, a, the seat to go back a little bit more, mm-hmm. um, but we were in it for so long, and we both got really cranky. We we're very tired, and the trip home was brutal. Just the drive from Birmingham to to my house took about an hour and twenty minutes longer than it normally would because of traffic and delays and oh, all that it was man. crazy. And then he had to go all the way back to his, his house, hitting the forty minute yeah. drive after he left me. Ugh. So he didn't get home until probably almost nine o'clock. When you're clo- when you as you get closer mm-hmm. to home, it gets even worse. I remember being on that Misfits trip, and by the time we traveled across the country, it got really bad once we got to Asheville. Yeah, I remember that you're so close, but yet you know you've got two and a half more hours or whatever it is. And that was just the darkest, most depressing time. And that's I think, why of that whole Greenville thing. was so bad because uh, not only that feeling, you know, you know, you're yeah. close, but you're not close enough yeah. yet. But then there were three accidents in Greenville that we got yes. delayed by, and it was nuts. It's and 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 as if that wasn't uh, bad enough, you know, when I crashed the bike the other day, and I, or I dropped my phone and it got all messed up. The letter I doesn't work on my phone, and I have a new one coming. Oh my god! Week. And that's the main thing that you use. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most important word. It is, it is brutal trying to type out a message real quick. They mm-hmm. got to stop and figure out a way to put it in there, and wait until it throws the word up for you to, to put I, I, I. to mm-hmm. click automatically. Yeah. Super annoying. All right, um, Alexis, you have an update for us on the uh, police officer that tries that has, was trying to court you. Tiny update, mm-hmm. yeah. And what was the last thing that happened? He, uh, I called him by ax oh, or yeah. I called him by accident, thinking he was someone else one night when I was drunk, and oh, don't yeah. remember the conversation. But we talked for about nine minutes. Okay. Oh so you, wow! Uh, I didn't. Yeah, uh, that's right. She called him. Yeah. Yeah, while she was drunk, thinking she was calling another dude, somebody else. Yeah. And uh, once I figured out who it was. Even though I don't remember the conversation, I just hung up. 
like in the middle of the conversation. <laughs> so he's just talking and he just Yeah, I was like, oh, lost, lost the service. The guy you were originally calling at night drunk, were you calling to invite him over? No, I don't think so. Oh, I don't know. But um, he texted me yesterday and he was just like, yo. <laughs> I said, hey, I did not know what was going to come next, whether he was like, do you remember our last conversation or you know, whatever. But he just, uh, he was really nice. He was like, hey, it's been a minute since we haven't talked. Just wondering how you are and how Did he things. say that? He said a minute? It's been a minute? I think he said it's been a while. Okay, good. That's and I better. said, yeah, that's it's been better. a minute. Uh-huh. And you said it's been a minute. Yeah, because oh, that's okay. how I like to talk. Right. I know. I okay. get it. I get it. Um, was it a hot minute or just a regular minute? It's just a regular minute. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're so annoying. And, uh, yeah, so I don't think I said anything crazy based off of our text conversation yesterday. And that I feel was like it. he would have brought it up. Just, I've been fine. How you been? Yeah, he asked me how work was. He said work's been busy. He was at work yesterday. Um, but I didn't want to push it too far. Say, hey, did I say anything? Yeah, I'm not going to ask him that. Stupid. Did I say anything that made you think that I want to uh, give it to you <laughs> or anything like that? What exactly did I say to you the last time we spoke? Refresh my memory. That's a good. That's always a great mm-hmm. question. Did I say anything made you think I wanted to give it to you? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was texting me to tell me that he heard about it or something on the show of me talking about him. <laughs> but that wasn't it. Thank God. So I don't think I said anything one, embarrassing. Dude. I think you would have said no. something about it or not have ever texted me again. Maybe you said something though that he thought was just too crazy at the time. I need to leave that alone. Cause that just, that's just out there. And then he got to thinking about it. He's like, you know what though? That would, that would be an experience that I'd never had before. Whatever she offered up. I hope I didn't offer (laughs) anything up. That sounds like it'd be an experience. Maybe, maybe (laughs) I'm not too afraid of it now. Maybe I could, I could, uh, you know, just suspend reality for a minute. Let, let her do that. I just really want to know what I said. Nine minutes is a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's not just like, oh, hey, what's up type you conversation. You have no idea what the conversation was? No idea at all. I just remember realizing that it was him, the police officer, not the person I thought, and freaking out and just hanging up and turning my phone off so that he wouldn't call back. <laughs> Yeah, and he didn't even try to call back. So that's what we were thinking, Ace, is that she said some vile things. And he's like, like, "Ah, uh -uh, that's that's too far for me. Yeah. You know, I got to serve and protect. Listen, they can't stay away, though. Who's they? All of them. (laughs) All of them. These boys. Yeah. I don't know. They just can't stay away. They can't stay away. They always come back. Hmm. So it must not be too crazy. Yeah. You got a good point. You like Arby's. <laughs> I'm like Arby's? Arby's. You just can't stay away so good. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Arby's slogan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really think about Arby's, but. No, you don't. I don't but know. when you have, you're like, damn, it's good, yeah. good as hell. Come I guess but. that is true about mm-hmm. Arby's you don't yeah. really think of Arby's but then when you have it, you're like damn well, I need to have Arby's more often this is delicious no, I think about Arby's all the time so you still <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> literally every single second of the day <laughs> so you still have no interest in going out with him at all or any, no, he anything he scares me because he's a cop. Yeah, and he's, he's trying to go to the you. FBI. Oh. That's a lot. What I thought you meant to, to, to report you. I just feel like that's like a cop times 100. <laughs> like so, they're I mean, saying what, they're going to the FBI. What's wrong with that? Why does he scare you because well, he's a cop? you guys know that I'm not like the best rule follower sometimes or law-abiding citizen. I don't think cops are really worried about whether or not you smoke weed. Well, I'm not trying think, to like risk like, it. I think they got enough to worry about. Do you think? You, do you really think he doesn't know that you smoke weed? I mean, I'm sure <laughs> he you'd have to be. A, you'd have to meet you and be a moron to not. I know was that. high when I met him. Exactly. You think he doesn't know that? <laughs> and if he does make it into the FBI, uh, he's not going to try to arrest you or anything. What if they're saying? Now, if you if you all of a sudden turned into a conservative, they would probably raid your house and turn you upside down, and throw you in jail. But as long as you keep, you know, the way you are with crystals and and the universe and smoking weed and all that, you're fine. The FBI is not going to bother you. Oh, well, that's good to know. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Maybe he can show me cool pictures of crime scenes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
probably can. They are, uh, they encourage them uh, to bring those home with them. Take them home. Share with your family. And uh, take them to restaurants and things. Yeah. and just, you know. Or take me to the crime scenes. I could like probably investigate some yeah. some shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's why he'd want right. to get with you. Yeah, you, yeah. yeah I, I don't see it ever working out for you to marry somebody whose occupation is something you're very interested in. Why not? I'm because you'll to de- you'll demand to always <laughs> yeah. be there. Yeah. Why can't I go? Yeah. Yeah, you'll ruin Why it for Why can't I go do that? Why can't I be? I want to see. I could probably help him out. Yeah, Solve the I mysteries. Bet. Yeah. You never know. She and that's what they call them around the old station house. The mysteries. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, how are we coming with that? Uh, the captain's up my ass. How are we coming with solving that mystery? <laughs> The mystery of the Smith case. Oh, God. <laughs> the Smith mystery. You know what else I bet would be super annoying? You got a Scooby Doo member <laughs> breathing down my back. I bet it would be super annoying also. <laughs> because, like what you were saying, he'd come home and she'd say, you know, how's the. How's the share funny case going? Uh, He's like, yeah, we found out this today. And then she starts around. Have you thought about? But yeah, we've already investigated that. What about like shut? The, I've dealt with this for ten hours today. Listen, I don't need be, your help. She'd be like, it's just like I mean, you're so afraid that I'm going to tell you something to finally solve this mystery. Yeah. <laughs> you're not even looking at it objectively. You don't want to solve this mystery, do you? Because this mystery is keeping you away from home more than you want to be here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Why are why all these mysteries? <laughs> We don't call them mysteries. She's like, hold on, let me get my magnifying glass. He's like, we don't use that shit either. Let me get my trench coat yeah. and, my, hat and with, my pipe. And my hat with the two bills on it. Yeah, right. Uh, it's, like, it's not, no. Time to solve some mysteries. <laughs> that would be great. Encyclopedia Brown Girl. Exactly. <laughs> You know what else? I bet, I bet she would end up with a, 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 a bag in the trunk of her car that's got some type of uh, FBI windbreaker that she'd stolen oh, from him or whatever. Oh, yeah. They have so the best merch. She would yeah. hound him from day one. Yeah, they call it merch. Yeah. 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 It's not a uniform. Yeah. yeah. To bring her all the official FBI clothing. FBI merch. Oh, my God. Sick. She, she would work been. the FBI merch yeah. tent. Outside the mist, where they're solving the mystery, he'd be out there. You know, he'd be working on a case, and she'd come driving up, jump out, throw her FBI mm-hmm. jacket, walking around like, "Who the hell are you, lady?" That's great. Oh, we know a guy who works for Secret Service. We sh- we should get him to get her some merch from them. Too. Yeah, mm-hmm. Secret Service merch. <laughs> yeah, I've got some stuff. That's dope. Yeah, we all got Secret yeah. Service merch. Ah, uh, what does it say? <laughs> Secret Service on it? It tends to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What else would it say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm curious as to what the options are now. Because well, that just it, seems like that's uh, all it says. It says Billy Ray's Flower Shop. <laughs> <laughs> they got to be incognito. <laughs> Great. Mm-hmm. All right. So, yeah, we do, we do understand. You don't yeah. need to be... Married to a police officer. Yeah, no. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Share Funny Podcast from the Ace and TJ family. More next. One of the worst things that can happen to your house is a buildup of mold and mildew in your crawl space. Let the experts at Cardinal Environmental Solutions come and inspect your crawl space and treat it so your house is safe for you and your family. Go to acetj.com slash cardinal today. At Centric South Park always delivers exceptional quality and service during your stay. And right now, when you book your social or business gatherings, you can earn up to 30,000 World of Hyatt bonus points. The Hyatt Centric South Park is a beautifully modern venue for all of your gatherings. Those of us on the Ace and TJ show absolutely love this place. Beautiful rooms, spectacular dining options, all nestled in the beautiful community of South Park, Charlotte. Book your gathering by calling 980-299-7013. This is the Share Funny Podcast from the Ace and TJ family. Let's go! (laughs) So we were just talking about the... um, the Secret Service guy who's part of the Ace and TJ radio family. And um, 
we were talking about how cool he is. He's given us some um, some stuff with the, you know, like a sweatshirt with the badge on it, the Secret Service badge and all that. And then Rob just said, he follows everybody but you on Instagram, Alexis. Yeah. He well. follows all of us. He doesn't follow you. Fucking jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Good, I don't want him to follow me. Oh, you do? He's really cool. Whatever. Oh. And maybe because he just hasn't, since um, you've been on the show, he hasn't, we haven't heard from him in a while. Yeah. He messages me all the time. Oh, he does? Yep. Oh, good. <laughs> He's lying. <laughs> and how come I've never seen this merch if he gave it all to you guys and you guys have all these cool things? I'll tell you why. Where are they? I'll tell you why oh, I don't so wear lied. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen them two years I've known y'all. I'll tell you why I don't wear mine very often is that uh, I wore, I had the the hoodie on one day and uh, I remember going to an Outback, Outback Steakhouse. Me, and I think it was me and Kate and Peyton and Peyton's boyfriend at the time and we walked in and a lady got up out of her chair and came over to tell me, uh, to thank me for, for my your service. service. <laughs> and I was like, I was like oh. He's a fraud. And I just had, I said, like, ma'am, I did, it's, it was a gift. It was given to me by a Secret Service agent. That's She was Oh, and I, and I really just wear it around the house. I don't wear it out in public very often because I, I don't think I've worn it out in public since then because I felt terrible for that. I'm yeah, like, and, you're um, welcome. We don't know what kind of service. I don't wear I don't wear mine because I hit a growth spurt after that. Mm. Did you? Yeah. It's too small <laughs> now after my growth spurt. So who has it? My son. Oh, my gosh. Uh. <laughs> you're dangling for that? Well, Riggins, where's mm -hmm. yours at? I got a, I got canine police stuff. Oh. For, it was for my dog. It's super cool shit. Nice. Do they have um, cat things? Uh, no. I don't know. Canine. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so it's it's a feline. Feline. Yeah, feline. feline. You feline. never heard that. Our feline officer. <laughs> Our feline, Mr. Whiskers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> officer Whiskers. Yeah, officer mean, Mittens. Yeah. I like that. We treat um, our feline officers just like human officers. They're, just, they're part of us. <laughs> We should have them. Like I tigers mean, and shit. Whenever we need a turd buried, <laughs> they go in and do it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> whenever we need a turd. <laughs> Secret service with a cow on a leash. She's sniffing out the area, guys. Give me a second. No, no. This is why you turn into the Share Funny Podcast. This is what I'm talking about. No, we talk about yeah. some dumb shit. <laughs> Uh, so there's a story of um, this politician who's running uh, in, I think it's New York, for some local office, and he is uh, running as an independent. But his whole platform is um, is to be open sexually. There should be sexual, well, I forget what he called it, um, openness or sexual freedom, sex freedom. And in order to prove his point, he made he hired a um, an, an established porn star to come make a video with him, a real hardcore porn scene with him, and then posted it on the um, the site uh, Pornhub. Um, and he was talking about it and saying that you know this proves that I really, I mean, I'm not just talking. The best way to show that I'm all about sexual freedom is by doing this. I'm like, okay. Um, can you just can you just hire a porn star to come make a scene with you? That's what I was wondering. It sounds like it now. Sounds like you got. It would seem like you would need uh, some sort of contact in the in the business to say. I mean, I know that they probably look at it like, well, it's money. Yeah, but it's like almost prostitution. Right. That's what I'm getting at. Mm -mm. She's being hired to be an actress. Because mm -hmm. they're filming it and putting out, she's being hired to be an actress. Mm -hmm. you've got a camera in your apartment, you're like, well, I'm filming this. She's <laughs> acting. As long as you film it and put and distribute it. Yeah, and there was probably there were probably paperwork drawn up and all of that. But And and let's never forget, he's a good looking man. Ugh. Oh, is he yeah. gross? Is he nasty? Yeah, he's gross. Ew. What's his name again? Or yeah, I, got, you know, I want to see a picture of him. Mike, something or other. Let's see. So, there's so many questions oh, about yeah. that. Gross. Ooh. He ugly. Like, how, how do you find the? Did he go and pick the one that he wanted? That or is it kind of like going to that? Um, 
that site where the people will wish you happy birthday. What's it called? Cameo. Cameo. Is it like going to Cameo where uh, you can see what each porn star would charge to come to set location and have sex with a normal person who's not in the porn business? I don't know. There, there, There has to be a way that you can find performers in your area, especially if you live in New York like he does. Yeah, I don't... His name is uh, Mike Itkis. Um, but Alexis, you talk about all the time how you like porn. Uh, I don't talk about that all the time, but okay. You love it. <laughs> like, what the hell? You just love it. <laughs> you do seem, you know, you do talk about it a lot. You guys so if you're set in this me guy, up all the time. <laughs> if you're in this guy's district, all right? And you're kind of on the fence about um, for whom you are voting. And you see that he put out a porn video. First of all, do you go look it up and watch it? Hell yeah. All right. Now, (laughs) do you give him, are you more likely to vote for him? Not because he made a porn video, but because he's really good looking and hot in the porn video. Yeah. You'd be more likely to vote for him for Congress. Yeah, and see what he's doing. Like, okay, I see you, boy. Okay, and less likely if he's ugly. Yeah, um, yeah. definitely not voting for him. So if he's the same on issues with the with his opponent, the porn could put him over the top or put him out of the picture of getting your vote. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of tricks you do for a dollar bill, boy. Oh. <laughs> That's what I want to see. <laughs> uh, that'll get my vote. What kind of tricks you do for a dollar <laughs> bill, boy? Hmm. Yeah, if he wants my vote. What am I voting for? Um, one might think you would vote for, uh, you know, how he will conduct himself when it comes to the laws of the state of New York or how he's mm-hmm. going to, you know, abide by procedure of not robbing his, you know, his constituents and things like that. Eh, I don't care about that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tricks. <laughs> Tricks. Let me, Tricks. See, Let me, see, Let me see what that thing can do. <laughs> okay, well, what if he's a good-looking guy and he makes the video, but he's not a good performer in the video? <gasps> oh, what a waste. Would that get? Would that make you not vote for him? But he's really good-looking. I would kind of feel bad for him a little bit. <laughs> so you'd give him a pity yeah, vote? Yeah, I'd give him a pity that. vote because it's like, how can you look that good and you don't know what you're doing? Yeah. Come on. Probably a lot. That's probably the scenario for a lot of good-looking people, and that's like the real tragedy. That is. You're so good-looking, but like just just not working. Yeah. Yeah. I flop. (laughs) 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 Yeah. (laughs) Exactly what I was thinking. A flop. But um, (laughs) he he did this and posted the video a long time ago. Um, he posted it. Let's see. It's a 13 minute video. La- last year is when he made it and he posted it a few months ago. So apparently, um, nobody noticed it until he did that interview with, um, with somebody on a podcast or something. He's all about sex positivity. Yeah, he should keep that to himself. That's yeah. that's but, that's what he feels is most important these days. Yeah. Right? If I would just yeah. talk about sex positivity, it wouldn't demonstrate my commitment to the issue. So what? Um, other than legalizing prostitution, what else? What else is he looking to get done in the under the sex positivity umbrella? Well, he's ugly, so he probably wants someone to be positive about having sex with him. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So he's like, if I just say I'm positive about it, maybe someone will also, you know. Do you think that's one of the reasons that he did it? He can say, I, like, I know I'm not going to win, but I'm going to make this whole thing up so I can have sex with a porn star. Maybe, because mm-hmm. he's gross looking. But that's what I'm saying. Even if you just wanted to do that, obviously, you can go hire a porn star. He's a nobody. He goes to her and says, hey, I want to make a video. 
and I might use it for a platform next year when I run for office. Do you think she gave him a discount because of that? I doubt it. No, I doubt it. Mm. She's like, shout me out when you make it big. Yeah, she's probably she probably <laughs> sees it as an opportunity because yeah. now that it's going to come out, and her, now that her name is out. Do they go all the way? They do everything? Yeah. It, it says they do. I'm not. I For how long? Yeah. I say, yeah, I haven't seen it, but I don't know. It's a 13 minute video. Oh, 13 minutes. Gross. But it may be edited. <laughs> what do you mean, gross? Because he's ugly. Oh, mm -hmm. so it's not good. You think no. having to go 13 is bad with that? Yeah. Ugly mm. He looks like Gru. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Despicable me. <laughs> that, yeah, I don't yeah. like any of him. Uncle Fester. And he's scary looking. Look at his eyes. Why is he staring like that? Sex positive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do with it. <laughs> yeah. well, he's probably, the, you know, all the other women he's come in contact with are positive. They're not having sex with him. Exactly. <laughs> it's funny that's meant to be shared. This is the Share Funny Podcast from the Ace and TJ family. Now, better ingredients, better pizza means that each bite of every Papa John slice just keeps getting better. From that first bite you have to blow on, to that second bite of crispy, crunchy toppings, to that string of gooey, melty cheese. And just when you're thinking this cannot get any better, you get to the crust and you realize it's not just any crust. Oh no, it's epic stuffed crust that's hand stuffed with cheese. Better ingredients, better pizza, even better when it's stuffed. Share Funny is a production of the Ace and TJ family. For more, download the Ace and TJ app in your app store. Now, more of the Share Funny podcast. <laughs> I told you earlier, my knees all messed up. You know, I got that big, this brutally big, ugly black scab Ugh. when I, I crashed. Take it off. What day was that last week? Tuesday. I think it, I think was, it was, when? was it Tuesday that I crashed, yeah. crashed on the bike on Pelly yeah. for Payton. Man. Yeah, because I was. We were all up late with you know, the vigil that night. Yeah. Man, yeah, I'm telling you, I couldn't, I couldn't stop laughing. If you, you laugh, you would have laughed. <laughs> if you had seen me, all I remember was I'm going around the car. There's a car to my left, I'm going up a hill. Car to my left, I'm on the white. I'm, I'm in the the little bit of shoulder before, and the sidewalk had just started right next to me, or else I probably would have been on the sidewalk. There was so much traffic, and I realized that the the drain is open. There's no cover over it. It's just a big open hole. And I've got about six inches to get around the drain without being hit by a car. And what I didn't catch was that when you go around the drain, right at the drain, it it, it is the, the road is slanted towards the drain to help the flow of water. And so when I went around it real fast, it, it just the bike just went off and hit the curb. And it then the bike, the last thing I remember as it was falling was I remember my left hand going out. And the bike coming out of my right hand, and as I fell off, I thought, oh, don't hit the sign. Because there was a sign right there. And I hit hit the pavement and rolled over into the sign. And we're just kind of laying there like, okay, I think I think my legs hurt because my leg hurts pretty bad. And then you hear the kindest people in Gainesville, Georgia. Oh, are you okay? Do you need some help? <laughs> Because the light has turned red and they're all stuck. <laughs> oh, damn. And they're trying to be kind. And I'm like, I'm fine. Just go ahead. And I'm yelling at the bike. Hey, Siri, call Miss Todd. <laughs> <laughs> and people keep stopping. Can I? No, don't call Miss Todd. My Siri was going. Uh, do, you need a, do you need help? You're bleeding. I, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm fine. It's okay. <laughs> I don't need help. I'm fine. Your leg, I just. Better keep it moving. Did the watch know you were in a crash? That's how they always talk about it on the commercial. I don't know. I think only the new ones do that. Yeah, yeah Amanda mentioned that. She goes, did your watch mm -hmm. tell you you were in a mm -hmm. crash? I was like, no, yeah. it didn't. I think only the new ones. Do he that. stays like just. <laughs> hate him. He's, he stays doing that. Actually, you would have got that old one. Uh, like, shut up. I think it's only the one that, um, <laughs> that poor people don't wear. Right. If you wouldn't have got that old busted ass watch, you would have been fine. Yeah. Trashy people are not worth alerting anyone <laughs> yeah. that they have fallen. I did so see that good. on the commercial yesterday that they would <laughs> the watch up. automatically <laughs> calls nine one one. Who needs that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the whole thing. Actually, uh, you're actually. I think it's only the new ones. I but glad you're know. okay. Who do you think you are, Iron Man or something? No, <laughs> <it> doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Take your <laughs> shit watch and get out of here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's pretty much what you're saying, Rob. You basically are wearing a sundial. <laughs> yes, like you commoner. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm. It will call uh, for help about the same time. A watch described as taking a leaking will talk will call. <laughs> nice try though. Nice try. So no, it didn't. <laughs> no. But, uh, long story short, no, it didn't call anybody. This watch was just like, damn, damn, damn. damn. Oh, that knee gonna be messed up. Yeah, <laughs> you effed up. <laughs> and the worst part was. Yeah. And, and, I can't can call nobody. Yeah. Can you ride a bike at all? Some type of shit. That's funny. You better call an Uber. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't calling you nobody. Learn to you. ride a damn bike. <laughs> Riding on the road like a fool. Shit like your daddy should be holding on to the back seat. <laughs> back of the seat. <laughs> Damn. So bad. And we got mm-hmm. to the hotel that night. I didn't think about it. I went to get on the bed. And I put my knee on the bed. And as soon as I did, I, went, I pulled my knee off too late. Bloody knee print right there on the, <laughs> on the, on the white mm. sheets of the bed. Like, damn. Sorry. Y'all didn't have band aids? We did, but I had taken it off to take a shower. Oh. And when I walked out of the shower, I guess I, when I dried my leg off, I tried to go around it, but I brushed mm-hmm. up against it when I put my knee on the bed. A, it hurt. B, mm-hmm. it left. Blueprint on that. And then my left one was the one that swelled up. And I was like, damn, what is what is with this? I don't know if I banged it up or just was swell, swollen from the. Yeah. My left side was much. Bursitis. Much, burst, <laughs> much worse shape than my right side after uh, when I got a, uh, yeah. that massage on Saturday. Bursitis? Mm-hmm. Old people get it. Yeah. Oh. Very, sounds bad. Similar to arthritis. Oh. Yeah. Bursitis. Y'all be getting some weird shit. Yeah. I don't have it. Who's, who's uh, y'all? Uh, old people? Older people. Or, okay. Older. Old white people. Old white people. <laughs> I can't come. I got bursitis. I'm yeah, like what? I Ew, definitely need I just it. looked it up. It's gross. Ew. Bursitis. Yeah. My bursitis isn't is it, acting isn't up. Isn't it joint pains and something? Uh, it's fluid filled sacks. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, right, yeah, which a, is what Alexis is. No, I'm not a fluid filled sack. <laughs> fluid filled sack. <laughs> I'm about to use that to get out of these calls today. Yeah, <laughs> for a second. Yeah, Adam, you said it was optional. Well, guess what? I'm, I'm opting out. Me too. Riggins gave me bursitis. <laughs> you got it from me? Yeah. It's an <laughs> epidemic in here. We all got bursitis. We all got bursitis. Yeah. We can't can't do anything about it. <laughs> Riggins, did you tell Adam to take you off that credit card? I did. You did? I did. So uh, Now I'm asking again. <laughs> I didn't want that credit card to begin with. <laughs> Why did you want to be taken off the credit card? Because I don't know where that credit card is. Mr. Todd has it. Well, who, maybe. I mean, no, I've seen it. I saw <laughs> it. I haven't seen but it in Mr. Todd's years. name. Yeah, I saw it. He, uh, he well, used my, it on the trip. I, I, saw I wrote, it. Just wrote an email to Adam. I said, listen, it's floating around and it's got my name on it. So I, I never, I didn't want the credit card. It's too much pressure. I don't need to be spending y'all's money. Y'all spend your money. How about that? <laughs> Uh, I don't want to spend your money. Todd doesn't have a problem with it. I, yeah. God bless him. <laughs> but that's kind of my thing. I don't want it. Yeah, because I went to give him mine and say, hey, keep this with you to get gas and all that kind of stuff because I don't want to stop every time you need to stop. And he was like, oh, I've already got, I got Riggins. Mm-hmm. He, okay. He can keep yeah. it. But yeah. Adam said, I, I totally understand. <laughs> <laughs> we will figure out a way to uh, use charges yeah. on other cards. Good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and by the way, we... we Radio is our is our gig. Radio, digital broadcasting, and all. We're about to start a, high, a side hustle, of opening a camera sh- uh, shop. <laughs> yeah, we got we got shit tons of cameras. We need to sell cameras up the wazoo we got, everywhere. Yeah. We got GoPros, Go uh, amateurs. <laughs> we got and, and, we got get up and gone cameras. We got drones. you know why this this one we got here right now says wide angle AF lens. <laughs> yeah. So this wide angle as so that that might bring a little something on the in the camera store. And and Miss Todd put the GoPro on the bike one day, and I was excited to see the footage until I saw it and realized the way it was up there. It was up there. You know how like when you hold your camera, your phone straight up and down. Yeah. <clears throat> and it has that, what is that on the Portrait. side? Yeah. It's black bars on either side. It's long yeah. video. Yeah. That's what it looked like. I was like, damn, what, oh why, why do we put it up that way? 
Because I had some good footage going through tunnels and stuff on that trail and didn't work. What? Mm-hmm. I don't know how it even did that. Why are you looking at me, Alexis? <laughs> Mr. Todd's, Todd's, I was sure Mr. Todd's it was amazing footage of the tunnels. Of course. You got good footage of the tunnels? That's funny. Come on. It was good footage. Inside a dark I'm tunnel? I'm so glad we, I'm so sad we no, couldn't they had see that. Nice the tunnels had lights, and some oh, of the tunnels okay. were, they're not like long tunnels. So they would have like, uh, uh, they had uh, leaves and all hanging around, the, the vines and all hanging down. They were really okay. cool looking. Did you hold your breath when you went in the tunnel? He's <laughs> like, F- blow you your heart. Heart. Of tunnels. F off, Rob. How about that? <laughs> blow your horn. <heart. laughs> <laughs> I did, yeah, I was thinking we, there should have been a GoPro on there. Uh, oh, uh, good. I don't just know. Just for the tunnels? Hey, no, when he eats shit, I would have. That would have been some amazing footage. See, he wants to see you fall. I'm just making fun of the oh, no, tunnels. If we'd, had that, if we'd have had that footage, that would have been. That's that, the, I mean, that's the one you, you want to see. Yeah, the, if we'd have had the crash footage, whew, totally, we would have thrown that out there. A little drama, a little suspense in the videos, absolutely. I even texted it. I said, take one for the team. Do it again. Yeah. See if you can eat shit again. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we got a lot of cameras, don't we? What if you could eat shit in the tunnel? <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, yeah. Dark footage. <laughs> There's leaves, you know, hanging. <laughs> okay. I'm just telling you, it was good stuff. <laughs> Now, the other trail, uh, yes, I can agree with that. It's the same trail. Oh. <laughs> oh well, that, that was tunnel? outside. That yeah. wasn't in a tunnel. It had tunnels in. There were tunnels on the trail. You'd be riding along. Like it had bridges on the trail. And then you'd be riding along, and the road would go over the, or like it'd have like a little tunnel, uh, a road over it. So they put like a little tiny tunnel. You'd uh-huh. wheels through there real fast. It would look cool. Mm-hmm. Look cool. Check out this tunnel I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> we can't see anything. <laughs> this, is, this is beautiful. They weren't like, it wasn't like, it wasn't like the Holland Tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful down here. It's like pitch black. Thank God for the, for the light on my vest. Yeah. I would be effed right now. <laughs> Care Funny from the Ace and TJ family. More, more next. One of the main things that we can do to make our homes stay comfortable is to make sure that there are no pests in the home. And the best way to do that is with our friends at Cardinal Environmental Solutions. Now, Cardinal Environmental Solutions has over 25 years of experience in the pest control industry. And the thing about it is, is that they are from this area. They serve the uh, entire greater Charlotte area, and they grew up here in Charlotte. They raise their families here in Charlotte. They understand the climate, the soil types, all of the various pests that invade our homes, uh, and they even deal with the bad mosquitoes that we have. So if you need someone to take care and make sure that your house is bug-free and rodent-free, then you need Cardinal Environmental Solutions. They're very easy to find. Just go to acetj.com slash cardinal, acetj.com slash cardinal, and start living pest-free today with Cardinal. Hey, it's funny you'll share. The Ace and TJ family presents the Share Funny Podcast from the Ace and TJ Show. So Alexis was just telling us that she spent a good part of the weekend um, uh, sucking shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Can you not say it like that? But that's what you said. I mean, yeah, but still, I was sh- sucking shrimp. So you had boiled shrimp, and you would take it and and suck on it before you unpe- before you peeled it. Yeah, I got a seafood boil. I had crab legs and shrimp. And you got to like soak up the shrimp because it has the shell on it. So you soak it up in the sauce, then you suck the sauce out, then you peel it, and then you put the shrimp back in the sauce mm-hmm. and eat it. Yeah. That's a lot of work. No, it's, um, it's worth every little bit of it. Mm-hmm. I've never heard of anybody until today. I've never heard of that. People taking the shrimp and sucking the sauce off of it yeah. before they peel it. It's so good. Yeah. It's like using a spoon. Mm-hmm. Right. So we've grown up. Eating boiled shrimp. You guys don't do it like that? And um, I've never done it like that. You should try it. No, I don't think so. Sounds messy. Well, it's a messy thing anyways. <laughs> not if you know how to do it. Okay, well. Like if I eat boiled shrimp, it's not messy. 
I like getting Were messy. they completely with the legs and all that on them, or were they easy peel shrimp that they threw in the in the boiling water? Had the legs and everything on them. Okay, good. Mm-hmm. That's how you have to have them. It mm. holds the flavor. I know. It's the way it should be. Yeah. But I've experienced it where it was easy peel shrimp and small, and that didn't work right. Mm-mm. First thing I said was, that's the shrimp they're using. Uh, uh. <laughs> Well, mm. you know. <laughs> the rest of it was good, though. Yeah. But you got uh, crab legs, too? Yep, I got crab legs, two clusters of crab legs, half a pound of shrimp, potatoes, sausage, and corn on the cob. And it came in that bag, and I shook up the bag. I, I came home, I put a towel down on my living room floor, put a good show on, uh, put some eating clothes on. Yeah. And went to town. Oh, and I got a washcloth so that I could wipe my hands. Mm-hmm. It wasn't cold. How far is the place f- from where you live? Like five minutes. Okay, so it didn't get cold on the way. Mm-mm. But I think I'm going to get another one today. I keep thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Damn. I know. And it wasn't cheap. I said, it how much cheap. does that cost? Well, market price for crab legs and things oh, like that. I was just thinking about the amount. Yeah, it was $34. Yeah. Oh. The amount of food. Damn, Ace. What about it? It's seafood. It's healthy for you. Yeah, but <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't realize. It's, it's healthy because it's seafood. It's healthy for you. My bad. <laughs> she ordered big Bob Evans meal delivered Friday. Oh yeah. In oh, here. yeah, she did. <laughs> okay, I, that's what Amanda was telling me something about it that she heard it and was like, "Wow." So uh-huh. it was so funny. She did that on Friday this morning. She walks into the studio right before the show starts, sits down at her desk, and she goes, "Crumbs." Oh. Toast. <laughs> like she remembered that on Friday she had ordered like this yeah. enormous like an omelet bowl with gravy in it and had toast. Yeah, yeah, what she acted like she was about to get mad at somebody for sitting yeah. at her desk, like somebody eating. eating over there. And she goes, um, "Oh, toast." Yeah, roaches wouldn't eat at that nasty desk. Shut up! Look at all that crap on there. Oh, um, yeah. it's oh. called ambiance. Yeah. Ambiance. No, fruit ambiance. juice. <laughs> it's called ambiance. ambiance. Fruit ambiance. juice stuck to it. All that. Okay, well, when I have a chair that peels, then I don't really think anything else really matters. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but I was just saying yeah. nobody else would be over there. Okay. So what all was I don't want it? y'all eating at Amanda desk. told me that she was listening, I guess, and they, y'all recounted. Yeah. She said it was like whatever the Grand Slam breakfast or whatever would be, but it wasn't from Denny's that she ordered. It was from Bob, Bob Evans. Evans. It was an open-faced omelet with sausage and, sauce and smothered in sausage gravy and potatoes. It's called the Sunshine Skillet. The Sunshine Skillet. It sounds spectacular. It was so, it good. so good. She she gave me a bite. It was pretty delicious. And it was kind of cold because it was pretty far away. I didn't realize it. <laughs> it where's the closest Bob Evans? Across the interstate at 36, right? Uh-uh, that's that's been close. That's, oh. Yeah. Oh, I don't know where it is now. Hunters. In Huntersville. <laughs> but I really? didn't know it was on the exit, list. Exit 25. Okay, I uh, didn't know that one was closed over there. Okay. Uh, Zero delivery fee. I didn't know. I was like, ooh, Bob Evans. Yup. So your delivery feet yeah. winning. <laughs> winning. Yeah, our old Bob Evans Ace is either now yeah. that that dog kennel place or the uh, cigar place. It's one of those two buildings. Okay. Yeah. But rush hour on the interstate from three three towns away. Yeah, it's gonna take it's a while. Be a little yeah. chilled by the time. Well, it was still delicious. Did you heat mm-hmm. it up at all? Nope. Oh. I ate it just like that. Mm-hmm. Did you? Um, what did you do the rest of the day? I worked. I went to the gym right after. Oh. And then I um, had to work. So I went. It's not like I could take a nap. Mm-mm. So I feel like if I can eat trash food as long as I can keep doing stuff, if I'm productive, then it's okay. Well, as long as you feel like it. Yeah. As long as you feel like that's what well, you can do. I will. Yeah, I'm, I am the first to admit that last week after riding that bike all day, and then we would go eat. I would just eat. Yeah. You know, like, I'll have a cheeseburger. Because, I mean, True. you look at it and say, like, oh, you burned 3,700 calories today. Well, then, yes, I'll have a cheeseburger and some nachos. You should have, and a steak. That's what I would have been doing. If I rode as many miles as you did on that bike, you better believe this whole week I'd be eating cheeseburgers for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Tacos all yeah. the way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I worked out 100 million calories already. Yeah, go look at the... Um, it's uh, videos of the buffets that college football players eat. Oh, it's incredible. Oh, God. They showed Just LSU's incredible. breakfast buffet the other day before the game, or, yeah. or, or maybe it was Friday or whatever. 
Yeah. It was just waffles and bacon and potatoes and every pancake, whatever they want. That's like the best just thing ever in the world. Tank it yeah. up. Yeah, like if a genie told me. Yeah. yeah. Plus, then, you know, they're they're nineteen, twenty years old too. You know, it's a little bit different. Yeah, Even they if they weren't ahead. working out all yeah. the time, it'd be a little different. So they have a they have a two hour workout, then they have a you know two hour practice, and they probably have some type of workout after practice. Yeah, so they're not they're not worried about getting yeah you know some grilled chicken and kale right. for dinner. <laughs> it's not fair. Yeah, twenty years old. Sure. Standing there, ripped up abs and big arms. Eat a stack of waffles and bacon. <laughs> <laughs> and then people are telling you, eat all you want. Oh, that's eat the all best you want. life. Get more. Get yeah. more. Yeah. And it's free. Oh, <laughs> even better. Yeah. It's like yeah. going to the cruise ship and you can order whatever yeah. entrees you want. Yeah, the uh-huh. difference is, though. I'll have both. Yeah. I'll have both of them. All seven, all seven entrees, please. <laughs> the difference is, though, you can have all you want of anything you want and you still look Flawless, right. like you look perfect. Mm-hmm. It's not fair. <clears throat> like you need to, you need to eat a lot so you can go work it off, in, you know, in the weight room. Yeah. Speaking of um, looking perfect, Mr. Todd's here. You you still look tired from the week. A little bit. Did you have a big weekend of no rest? Yeah. You did. Yeah. Oh. Did you really? Katie had a tennis tournament. Yeah, so he oh God. Mm-hmm. he got home Friday night. And he had to get up Saturday morning and go to a tennis tournament. Ooh, dad life. Yeah, dad life. I got yeah. your credit card. Yeah, you can keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Riggins went to a titties tournament. And they're on. They're my titties. <laughs> <laughs> The Share Funny Podcast is a production of the Ace and TJ family. To get more Ace and TJ 24-7, download the Ace and TJ app. Just search for Ace and TJ in your app store. All Share Funny material, copyright ATJ Incorporated 2021.